How y'all doing, family? This is Chris Rod with Media TV, and I'm going to be coming to you with this news uh, from Fox5Atlanta.com. You know, Shaq has been kind of cooning some, uh, some things and stuff like that, but I'm just flat out just all the way done with him now. I, I'm, I'm just all the way flat out done with him. Fuck the nigga, man. Because cause what he just said... This, this nigga is just just a coon, bro. I ain't that. I ain't think Shaq was like that, man. But this nigga is a straight coon. I love my butter biscuits. So y'all, y'all, y'all watch this. Uh, y'all check out this article, fam. It says Shaq says put more police officers in the schools instead of banning guns. Shaq. Have you not understand and have you not noticed what's been going on in the black community? Black community, stupid. Stupid. Big dummy. The big green giant. This big ass, stupid ass dummy, bro. The same cops you're talking about put in the school are the same cops that's on the street, stupid. What about Michael, Michael Brown? Freddie Gray? You feel what I'm saying? Tamir Rice. It's a lot of kids. It's so many black kids, I, I can't even keep names. The same cops you talking about, you want more in the school? You want you want more dealing with our royal black children? Hell no, motherfucker. But this coon ass. Oh, I love these butter biscuits. Pencil neck head ass nigga. Talking about put more cops in the fucking school. I don't know if this motherfucker has been watching YouTube videos or not, but how these fucking white cops been throwing our fucking daughters, handling our sons like they fucking grown men, doing all kind of shit. And you talking about put more in the fucking school? Man, nigga, get the fuck out of here. So, fam, I'm about to get into this article, man, because this nigga is a fucking butter biscuit coon. It says the NBA Hall of Famer who lives in Florida and played for the Orlando Magics and Miami Heat during his career was asked about the massacre at Missouri uh, Stoneman Douglas High School that killed 17 people. And this dummy talking about some, I actually, oh, master, I actually live in Fort, Lall Fort Lauderdale. I actually knew the sheriff because he gave me some good old good butter biscuits. And he said, called him and told him he did a wrongful, a wonderful job. O'Neill told uh, WABC Radio's Curtis and Cosby show, but he said the response should be to harden schools against attackers and provide more money for law, inform law enforcement around the city. Hell no, we provide no more, no more money for fucking law enforcement. They already got enough fucking money. They already killing people and shit like that and not getting away with it. So why would the fuck would you want to give them even more power? You butter biscuit coon. You watermelon eating. Uh, big green giant. <laughs> Andre the giant. Mall ball. Muscle head ass motherfucker. <laughs> Say you put officers in front of the school. You put them behind the school. You put them inside the school. And we need to pass information. I would like to see police officers in schools, inner cities, private schools, he said. Inner cities, you already know what that means, family. He talking about the fucking ghetto. He ain't talking about in these fucking white schools. He talking about in the ghetto. He ain't say nothing about, oh, the schools, uh, these all-girl schools, these all-boy schools and shit like that. He ain't talking about none of those schools. He's talking about the nigga schools. The hood. You feel what I'm saying? That's what we talking about. He talking about the motherfucking hood. And this overgrown, big muscle head ass wouldn't have never made it if we wouldn't have never fucking stood behind his old jackrabbit looking ass. So it says O'Neill, who was sworn in a Georgia deputy in 2016, and said he could run for sheriff someday, 
died of that news ban on firearms would be effective. He said criminals are not suddenly going to turn in their guns. Yeah, you should have been talking about the damn white people because that's the only white people that really, really weren't about turning their fucking guns, mostly. You know what I'm saying? Most black people, we're going to have our guns regardless and shit like that. But it's mainly the whites coming in, oh, man, you take my guns away. Because they know they can't fight without no motherfucking gun. They know they're straight pussy without a fucking gun. You feel what I'm saying? But oh, but a biscuit shack. The nigga playing in Shazam. And that shit was garbage. That shit was straight poo-poo. But family, y'all let me know what y'all think about this old coon-ass, butter biscuit head ass rock fucking, Papa rock looking ass motherfucker. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling in the comment, boy. And I'll put this article in, in the link in the description below. And I uh, love y'all. Y'all have a good evening.